What's up guys? My name is Brenner. Thank you for tuning in today to Liquor Sippers. Today is gonna be a whiskey history 101 across the board from beginning to end. Now it's gonna be a quick run through. I can't sit here and go through everything like the Ice Age and how long it took for us to figure out that we're gonna make whiskey. Now, um, but we are gonna start at the very tip top and we're gonna run our way through um, relatively quick, at least so you guys can understand where whiskey came from. So without further ado, Let's start sipping. A little bit of vodka, a little bit of whiskey, a little bit of info, a little bit tipsy. Liquor sippers, liquor sippers. We sip and sip and, 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 hold up. Oh yeah. Uh, burns going down. Oh, kind of sweet at the end. Oh, no, nope, here comes the more burn. Heartburn, heartburn. <coughs> <coughs> okay, all right. Now that that's done with. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thanks again for tuning in to Whiskey Sippers today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this run through of the history and just take it from the top. All right, so history way way back we're talking 2000 bc all the way a long time ago before christ that's right before christ before the man ever was wound yeah so uh 2000 bc um is when actual the idea concept of distilling or distillation was actually formed and it would actually come from uh ancient mesopotamia which is now equivalent to like modern day Iraq or, or, or Syria uh, around those uh, around those types of places. Now, um, the reason that they originated it was not what you would think. It wasn't for alcohol, it was for purposes of perfume. Okay, so moving forward to 100 AD, you have um, the actual first record of distilling um, in time. And it was uh, ancient ancient Greece. And the, the necessary precautions that were taken for water, obviously, were, hey, this water is dirty, it looks gross. So we don't wanna drink that. So distilling was not necessarily for any type of alcoholic beverage or anything of that nature. It was more for cleanliness and um, your original Dasani or your original Aquafina water. So moving forward to between the time frames of 500 to 1000 uh, AD after death of Christ, now, the knowledge of, uh, of distillation is spread throughout Europe and um, it starts to travel more and more. And, the, and, 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 and you're looking at, excuse me, you're looking at Christian religion that actually is adopting these this uh, distillery type options. Uh, and they would use it for producing um, and mixings of, of ingredients for various different uh, reasons, such as like ceremonies, uh, medicines, colic for, you know, for babies, small children and uh, even smallpox smallpox so around so 1250 AD is around the time from that we know as far as being the earliest time frame of actually distilling alcohol um, and actually that would appear in anybody in the class can anybody in the class tell me anybody in the class you in the back you in the back Bueller 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 no, yeah, I couldn't hear you anyway, but regardless, it came from Italy. And of course, no other, it came from Italy because they gotta have, you know, their cheese with their wine. And that's what they did, they produced the wine. And later on, you move forward and it's 1405. And this is where you actually have the first written uh, record that we have whiskey, and it appears in Ireland. And in 1494, this is about the time that distilling whiskey started to become more prominent and it just kind of fell, I guess, in the laps of, of Scotland. And Scotland was like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start doing this. Ooh, ooh, it's machine Oh, that's German. Between 1536 and 1541, where the production of whiskey kind of starts to uh, shift and it goes out to the general public. And, and you got King Henry VIII of England who dissolved monasteries, which it, it made it, uh, a thing for monks. It became an independent tool for monks in order for them to make a living and make some money and make some pay. And that's kind of what distillation became to them. 
and in 1600 and beyond, you're looking at European colonists, and they began to arrive in America, and they brought with them the, the, that practice of, of distilling uh, whiskey. Uh, so you got the Scots, and then you got the Irish, and they're all coming together in, these, in, in this new territory. So going back to 1608, um, there's an old distillery in Ireland that's called Old Bushmills Distillery, and it's actually um, the oldest licensed whiskey distillery in the entire world. So that's a fun fact, except for this whole thing's a fun fact. 1707 to 1725, Acts of Union resulted in merging of kingdoms of England and Scotland, creating Great Britain. And in the following years, taxes rose dramatically. So, you know, this is known as the English Malt Tax of 1725, and it seriously threatened the production of whiskey alone. And it led a majority of the Scottish distilleries to head underground and, and kind of uh, begin production at light, giving whiskey uh, one of its finest nickname, nicknames that we know now, no other than moonshine, sucker. Moonshine, let's get some moonshine, let's get some moonshine. All right, 1775, 1775, right around where the army is just coming alive. Uh, 1775 to 1783, after many years of producing their own whiskey uh, and, and seeing its value that the general population uh, was, was utilizing or how they were utilizing it. The stories often use whiskey as a means of currency. So they would trade and barter for, you know, two bottles for this, one bottle for that type thing. This is all during the American Revolution time frame. Now, in 1783, this is the first commercial distillery that is founded in no other than Louisville, Kentucky, straight out of Kentucky, only uh, somewhere near the banks of o Ohio River. All right, thank you for joining me today on Liquor Sippers. Meet me again next time for chapter two. Or, just turn the tape over. Good day. That's spicy. Liquor sippers, liquor sippers.